the Department of Labor answered a lot of questions and gave an update as to how their new automated system is dealing with the influx of unemployment claims. Six hours, yeah, nothing. Everything was new, you know, you have faith that this is going to work out. And then two weeks went by and I got paid nothing and there was still an issue and nobody was getting back to me. The biggest problem with any endeavor is always communication and you can't communicate with them. If you are one of the more than 400,000 people in the state who filed for unemployment benefits, these frustrations may sound familiar to you. 327,000 applications have been processed, totaling more than $230 million in unemployment benefits since the coronavirus pandemic began. The Department of Labor answers 3,000 emails a day. Thursday, the Department of Labor answered questions many of you have been asking us like when people will see the $600 weekly benefits provided to the unemployed in the Federal CARES Act. We intend to have this program up and running um, by about the uh, 27th of April, and that's $600 added to every claim. The PUA, or Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, will also provide benefits, but to the self-employed. We're building this system now and expect to have it up and running by April 30th. So on April 30th, uh, we will begin uh, to accept uh, claim applications for the PUA. The federal benefits in the CARES Act pay back to March 29th and go until July 25th. They're available to part-time and self-employed people as well. Some people have holds on their accounts for reasons they can't explain. The Department of Labor is looking for patterns in the new automated filing system like this. If there's a system fix, they say they'll work on it. That error code is explainable, um, but it does uh, halt things. We are, when we're seeing those, it's, it's uh, within our system, it's called a V-stop. When we're seeing those, we're taking batches of these, and we're manually, one by one, we have a group in one of our offices that are going into those, those stops, looking at them, and at this point in time, we're not doing as much calling, we're resetting them, um, but it is a one-by-one -one manual process to reset. That, again, is one of those scenarios where if they see this happening, the quick click for the file CTUI does have a place that they can send us an email, um, but we're, we are getting to them also in bunches as we notice the pattern. The Department of Labor is recommending you go on to their website, filectui.com and watch the tutorial before you file your unemployment claim. We've provided a list of answers to questions many of you have been sending us on our website at fox61.com. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.